headlines this morning. Three British men are being held by the Taliban in Afghanistan. The Foreign Office says it's working hard to make contact with them. Dozens of school leaders representing hundreds of academies call for a rethink about how Ofsted carries out inspections. Extra ferries sailed overnight to clear the backlog at Dover, where some travellers waited up to 14 hours. Officials hope services will be back to normal by midday. Good morning. Solid, but not spectacular. Anthony Joshua beats Jermaine Franklin in his comeback fight, but fails to land a knockout punch. Our ancient woodlands stand steadfast and tall. It's through this great past that we build a future for all. The unmistakable voice of Dame Judi Dench as the King says thank you for the three million trees planted in honour of the late Queen. Right, let's take a look at uh, the Sunday papers for you and the Sunday Times focusing on the forthcoming junior doctor's strike. The paper claims they could pose a new nightmare for patients ahead of the industrial action later this month, reporting that cancelled operations will be communicated from tomorrow. Have a laugh at my funeral is the headline on the front of the Sunday Mirror alongside an image of Paul O'Grady, who died on Tuesday. The paper reports that the late TV star told his friends to have a good time during the upcoming celebration of his life. The Sunday Telegraph's front page features a story about a government plan for cow flatulence blockers <laughs> aimed at cutting methane gas emissions. And one of the most read stories on the BBC website is the result of last night's boxing clash at the O2. British heavyweight Anthony Joshua returned to winning ways with victory over Jermaine Franklin.